Welcome back moviegoers to another edition of Going to the Movies. Today is a film tourism video. We're going to be walking around the museum at the Sony Tour looking at all the incredible memorabilia they've got. These are screen use props. You can tell they're screen use props because they're not clean, they're not shiny. They're what they look like in the movie. So we're going to go around and look at everything we got. Make sure to follow Brian. Reel to reel. I'll put his stuff down below and uh, let's get started. They let me back in here. I don't know how long they're going to give me so I'm going to try to focus on the stuff that I think is the coolest, and Hancock isn't really one of those. I mean, I did see that movie. Oh, Scuba Steve is right here. Don't worry about it, boy. Ow! Scuba Steve! Damn you! Uh-huh. The original Scuba Steve. A couple other things, labeless phone numbers. Mask of Zorro. Uh, so we have some stuff from the newer Jumanji, but what's really going to blow your mind here is an original Jumanji board. Call me back ten minutes before the hour. While we're waiting. Whoa, God! Sarah, Sarah. No, no, no! Oh no! no, no. Sarah, no, Sarah. No, Sarah. We get their own. Guys, you have to pardon me. I don't really do these kind of walk through museum videos often, so I don't really know what to do other than show you these things. I mean, that's pretty insane. The uh, fake ID. No, no, man, I got it. It's flawless. Check it. Hawaii. Uh -huh. All right, that's, that's good. It's hard to trace, I guess. Wait, you, you changed your name to McLovin? The uh, liquid detergent case they carried the alcohol in. Oakland A's half from Moneyball, incredible movie. Written by Aaron Sorkin. Sleepless in Seattle backpack. I know a lot of you guys love Talladega Nights. Look, I wanna drive, okay? My arm's fine. So look, get the car off the trailer. Don't, don't look at me. Get it off the trailer. Uh, 21, 22 Jump Street. A few items there. There's the click remote. Keep the freaking volume down. I want to show you guys this. Head was used for Godzilla, the Matthew Broderick Godzilla, which, you know what, maybe I was just young enough at the time to where I remember that as a good movie. What about you, Brian? You think that Godzilla's a good movie? Uh, no, not at all. This is from Bullet Train, which is a newer movie, the Brad Pitt movie. Um, I know there's a lot of Breaking Bad fans. I'm not necessarily a fan of the show. I've watched a little bit of it. I'll go back and watch it because I know it's one of the great ones. But um, you got the Heisenberg drawing here. I mean, I see this all the time, so I know this is like an iconic prop. Figured a bunch of you guys would really like seeing that. You also got a license plate, a bunch of other things you might recognize. I really don't know what this pink bear is from or if it's even a bear. We were told everything here in the museum was screen used. It's all authentic except for uh, the set that I'm about to show you, which I found the most exciting. Well, not the most exciting, but I found it very exciting. They have a recreation, sort of, of the Seinfeld living room, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. And I finally got Virginia to start watching it. And we got a couple seasons in and then, you know, we moved and you know how things are. So we're gonna have to get back into it, Virginia. Get ready to finish Seinfeld. But you can see it's not, it's not exactly perfect. This kitchen wasn't really that small and hiding back there. Oh brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> I never saw the uh, short circuit movies, but here's uh, Johnny Five, is that his name? Johnny Five? 
Yeah, me five. Short Circuit 2. It's an inspiration for El DeBarge's Who's Johnny song, the hit song from the first Short Circuit. Top 10 hit on the Billboard Hot 100. Some more shows. Here's Outlander. I know my parents watch this. Dad, check this out. You recognize this? Stuff? I love this Men in Black gun. Oh, what are you going to do to stop me? Not me. Him. Your flight's been canceled. It just looks so real. The pirates. I guess that's a stop, stop motion uh, model there. Some character models from some of the animated films. They do a lot of animation. Sony. One huge hit they got on their hands right now is the new Spider-Man multiverse movie, the sequel. It's from Spider-Man 3. Some people don't like that one. I think it's okay. Uh, this is pretty cool. If you were a kid at the time Stuart Little came out, you remember Stuart Little's car? That's his car right there. Wow. Roadster. Go ahead, check it out. So this prop right here is my favorite piece in the entire museum. We've been through before at the beginning of the tour, but uh, anyone who loves the Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans remembers this sequence. But they made a whole like visual montage out of that drawing when he's coming up with how he wants his suit to look. And then you've got a Daily Bugle, you've got the uh, Playbill. And uh, a lot of cool stuff from all three Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. Where's our Will Ferrell people at? Ricky Bobby's uniform. Face from Underworld. Some drawings. Men in Black stuff. And a set model. Spider-Man. Uh, the death sequence of Norman Osborn. Outlander costumes. This one's the blacklist. I do have to go fast because uh, they're letting, they're very kindly letting me in here to do this, and I don't want to overstay my welcome. So I'm going to kind of get us going through, and I'll maybe pause the video and point out a few things if I see anything interesting. Here's a Cinderella 2021, Camila Cabello. Venom movie costumes. Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. Ghostbusters Afterlife, over here. You guys remember that movie, Passengers? Yeah, I didn't go see that one. I wanted to, and then I didn't hear good things. Some more incredible Spider-Man props. A lot of people complain these days that Warner Brothers is too friend-centric. If you don't like a lot of focus on one thing and you're not a big Spider-Man guy, you might be not a huge fan of this museum because it's a lot of Spider-Man stuff. Of course, Sony's probably their biggest property, right? When it comes to... Well, hang on. Let me pause what I'm saying here because we have Peter Parker's delivery bike from Spider-Man 2. This is... The amount of times I've watched these movies and then just to sort of like be near it. I mean, it's, it's sort of a similar feeling when you do the locations. I don't know. It's amazing. Got, I believe this is a vulture suit. Idiots. 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 Check this out, though. We got Doc Ox. Arms. I'm going to show you that close up. Let's look at the detail in there. And I believe this is Dane DeHaan's Green Goblin. So that would be more Andrew Garfield. Amazing Spider Man 2. 
And that was also his suit down here that I was showing you. Now, I don't know if that Spider-Man up there is... I won't touch it, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's peeling. You would think if it was a decoration, they would do better at keeping up with this. So maybe that's an authentic suit. Oh, I didn't even see this last time. It's Green Goblin's mask. But how? The cunning warrior attacks neither body nor mind. Tell me how! The heart, Osborne. First, we attack his heart. Going back to formula down here. Got one of the bombs. And then we've got a lizard head played by Risa Fons, the lizard, in The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, your mind might be pretty blown by this. We've got the painting here. Early Renaissance, I think. Raphael or Piero della Francesca? Huh. No, I believe it's one of the Fettuccinis. Ghostbusters! It's huge. If you go up close to it, you can see, like, the cracks. Right here to the left of the painting is a 2016 Proton Pack. 2016, that's the all-female one? Correct, yes. And we didn't really love that one. <laughs> and not because it's all-female, that's not the reason. It was like, you make a bad movie, it's a bad movie, all right? Right. But uh, if you do like it, here's a costume from it. There you go. Now let's look at this one. <laughs> Ghostbusters 2 Proton Pack, in my opinion, way cooler. This is also from the 2016 Ghostbusters. But check this out, back here, some more Spider-Man stuff. I just wish I could remember more about him. We loved you. That's the main thing. Hey, uh, let's watch a game in the kitchen. The portrait of Willem Dafoe portraying Norman Osborn. And then I believe we got a, yeah, we got a set model here from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Did you like Ghostbusters Afterlife? I enjoyed it, um, but my heart belongs to the original. Yeah, the originals are better. It felt wrong when they came back, you know, and they got all the guys together and then like ghost version yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. that was... Hopefully it didn't spoil anything there if you haven't seen it. <laughs> if you're a Ghostbusters fan, just like watch the movie already. <laughs> there we go, some more paintings. Talladega Nights, People vs. Larry Flint, and House Bunny. Looks like there's something back here too, but... It's roped off. Oh yeah, more Bill Murray. And looks like Chevy Chase, but it's hard to tell from this angle. Up there. Lyle Lyle Crocodile, if you got kids, maybe you saw this. I don't have kids yet, so I don't have to watch garbage like this. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding Sony. We've got an authentic Oscar replica. They're actually pretty heavy. Let's see how it compares to the Emmy. Oh, I thought it was nailed down. I couldn't even lift it before. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's magnetized, I, I think. I gotta get to the gym. <laughs> Do some curls with the, oh. the Emmy. Congratulations Thank on you your... That's a daytime Emmy, though. That's okay. That's what I wanted to write for. Uh, that's from your interning on Days of Our Lives. <laughs> All right, guys, sorry, I know that was really fast, but uh, I, I figured you would want to see it. I don't think I've seen it on YouTube before, so I wanted to show you guys all those props and let you know Sony is like one of the most underrated tours. It's really, really enjoyable. Good. Definitely check it out if you're in the LA area. Yeah, and definitely check out Brian's stuff. He's got Real to Real. What's the website? Real to Real uh, filming locations, and I'm also on Instagram and TikTok under Real to Real. Yeah. And so all those links are down below. Make sure to follow them on all those platforms. Make sure to like and subscribe to going to the movies. I'll put some videos up for you to watch. If you want to keep watching, we'll see you in the next one. It's a wrap.